Imagine an ancient bird that is over millions of years older, the continent traveler. Once they were widespread across the Middle East, Northern Africa, and Southern and Central Europe. They roamed the skies from Europe to Africa freely. They disappeared from Europe over 300 years ago, 17th century, because of humans found them too irresistible, not for their beauty, but for their taste. Yes, it is the bald ibis bird or waldrap. We thought never to be seen again, but today they made a miraculous comeback from extinction. In this video, we have covered what caused the extinction, how they came back from extinction, and what scientists did for this comeback. So make sure you like this video, and if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. As human populations grew, the bald ibis faced a silent enemy. The wide open grasslands, deserts, and mountainous regions that these birds called home were slowly being swallowed up by cities, roads, and settlements. What were once peaceful breeding grounds turned into bustling urban spaces, forcing the ibises to retreat to isolated areas where they struggled to survive. But the destruction didn't stop there. In many places, trees were cut down, and land was cleared for farming, logging, and new developments. The habitats these birds depended on, rocky cliffs and wide open fields, began to disappear. With less space to live and find food, the bald ibis found themselves in an ever-shrinking world. And then there was hunting. The bald ibis, with its striking appearance and habit of moving in flocks, became an easy target. People hunted them for sport, for their feathers, and even for food. In some places, these birds were seen as bad omens, symbols of misfortune, and were killed out of superstition. Even their eggs weren't safe. Many were taken for food or trade, and with their slow reproductive rate, each lost egg meant fewer chicks hatching, fewer young birds growing into adults. It was a chain reaction that pushed the bald ibis closer to the edge of extinction. In the late 20th century, conservationists and scientists noticed that the bald ibis birds were becoming increasingly scarce. They noticed that by the 1970s, reports showed that only a few hundred birds were left in the wild. In 2019, about 700 wild birds were remaining in southern Morocco. The cause was clear. Relentless hunting, habitat destruction, and the rapid spread of modern agriculture had taken a heavy toll. They realized they were dealing with a species on the brink of extinction. Then scientists started tracking the last known bald ibis colonies. Then the scientists noticed that the strange thing from the last known bald ibis colonies. Usually, the bald ibis colonies would fly from Europe to warmer regions in North Africa for the winter. But the new generation of bald ibises doesn't know how to migrate. Migratory birds don't instinctively know where to go. They learn their roots from their parents, knowledge passed down through generations, like a family heirloom. But the bald ibises of today, they have no such legacy. Their ancestors are long gone, taking that precious migratory wisdom with them. This loss of ancestral guidance has put the ibis species at serious risk. These birds still feel the natural urge to migrate, but without knowing where to go, they've flown in all the wrong directions, ending up in deadly places. Imagine birds setting off on a journey, only to never return because they didn't know the way. This is heartbreaking, right? So scientists are stepping in to guide them as foster parents. Just like in the 1996 film Fly Away Home, where the protagonist teaches orphaned geese how to migrate using a small plane. Here researchers are starts doing the same for bald ibises. A team of dedicated scientists is teaching these birds how to follow their ancient migratory routes. They're literally flying alongside the ibises, guiding them from Austria to Spain. Can you picture it? A tiny aircraft with a flock of endangered birds flying close behind, being taught how to migrate for the first time in generations. It's nothing short of a breathtaking sight. Initially, scientists struggled with them, but after too many attempts, they made an insane success. To make this success, researchers aren't just flying a plane and hoping for the best. They're building trust with the birds, forming strong bonds to ensure the ibises follow them. The scientists wave, call out to the birds, and even shout words of encouragement mid-flight. This extraordinary parent-child dynamic is what's helping these birds learn the route their ancestors once knew by heart. However, the journey is far from easy. The trip could take up to 50 days to complete. If that weren't enough, climate change is adding another layer of difficulty. The world is warming, and with it, migratory patterns are shifting. Birds across the globe are now forced to adjust their timing as seasons come earlier and blooming cycles shift unpredictably. 
The scientists believe that by teaching them these ancient roots, they can not only preserve the species, but also help them adapt to a rapidly changing planet. It's a race against time, and every wing beat counts. If this amazes you, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and share this video to spread the word about the incredible efforts to save our planet's creatures. Together, we can help protect the wonders of nature.